Good afternoon, and it's good to be with you again. I hope you and your families are keeping well. Now at this time of year, many of us are usually looking forward to the summer, thinking about holidays and where we might travel to. This year, for obvious reasons, our options are more limited. But I want to take you back to 1914 and the travels of Sir Ernest Shackleton in the Antarctic. Shackleton had travelled to this most southerly part of the world twice before, but in 1914 he intended to lead an expedition which would be the first land crossing of the Antarctic continent passing through the South Pole. There were two ships for the expedition, the Aurora for the supporting party which would bring provisions for the expeditionary party who were unable to carry everything they needed, and the Endurance which was to take the expeditionary party to the point from which they would begin their crossing over the ice. As you may have read, before it reached its destination, the Endurance became trapped in the pack ice of the Weddell Sea, which surrounds the Antarctic Peninsula, is full of icebergs, and was later described as the most treacherous and dismal region on Earth. For nine long months, the Endurance remained isolated in the drifting ice before it was finally crushed. The 28 men in the expeditionary party, led by Shackleton, were then left stranded on the ice with as much food and equipment as they were able to take from their ship, and there they remained for a further five months, just about as far from other human contact as it was possible to be, and in some of the harshest conditions on the planet. So how did they survive in this dreadful isolation? I don't just mean how did they find enough to eat, and stay warm and protected from the driving, biting wind sweeping horizontally over the ice? How did they stay positive and busy and determined that they would survive? The survival of those 28 members of the group is often credited to Shackleton and the approach he instilled in them. Firstly, strange as it might seem, he remained infectiously optimistic. The aim of the group which had sailed across the world, was to be the first to traverse the Antarctic. However, as their ship sunk beneath the waves, it must have been clear to them that that goal was not going to be achieved, at least not by them on that occasion. However, so it's reported, Shackleton conveyed no disappointment. Rather, he remained calm, explained the dangers and possibilities that the situation presented, and projected optimism that they might be rescued. It might feel that we're trapped by our current situation, but we'll get through it. The time will soon pass and soon we'll be back together again. Moreover, the weather until today has been good and we're warm, well fed and cared for. Secondly, Shackleton believed in keeping his men busy and the importance of a sense of purpose and routine. Each member had challenging and meaningful work even if in an outside observer might question the point of some of what they were asked to do. The ship's carpenter was asked to make furniture, and scientists set to studying atmospheric ice and water conditions. We're fortunate that through technology we have plenty to do, and even though we might not physically be in school, we're able to continue learning and moving our education forward. That's important in itself but it's also important for our own well-being. Finally, we're led to believe that Shackleton was aware of the anxiety that his team might understandably suffer, and he displayed deep understanding and empathy for them. He invested time and effort in getting to know them, even reading up on subjects of interest to others, so that he might always have a point of conversation. He was always ready to listen to his men's concerns and took the trouble to keep them informed. Whilst we're all dealing with the impact of COVID on us, be aware of others and think about their needs and worries and challenges. Although we're apart, we need to come through this together. After those nine months in the trapped ship, followed by the five months in the makeshift camp on the ice, in April 1916, Shackleton and his crew set off in three small boats, eventually reaching Elephant Island. Taking just five men with him, Shackleton went on to find help. In a small boat, the six of them spent 16 days crossing 800 miles of ocean to reach South Georgia 
and then they trekked across the island to a whaling station. The remaining men from the Endurance were rescued in August 1916. When we all set out on our journey through this academic year, we will have had all sorts of aims and ambitions and possibly had thoughts about how this school year or even this term would play out for us. In the same way, Shackleton would have envisaged travelling to the Antarctic by ship, crossing the continent and then returning to much celebration. However, the aims he had when he set out turned into an ambition to just survive over a period of 18 months. We won't be in lockdown for that long, but just as Shackleton is arguably better remembered for coming through the ordeal than he would have been had the expedition been successful, so we'll have developed new talents and skills as a result of making the best of the current situation. Like Shackleton, stay positive, keep busy and be aware of others and their needs. I look forward to seeing you all again soon. Stay well.